Hi, I'm Lisa Blecker, the Pesticide Safety Education Coordinator for the University of California Statewide Integrated Pest Management Program. Welcome to the online course on proper pesticide use to avoid illegal residues. This course will take you about two hours to complete, and if you get a score of 70% or higher on the final test, you'll receive two hours of laws and regulations continuing education units from the Department of Pesticide Regulation. Pesticides are present all around us in our everyday lives. It is estimated that more than 2.5 million tons of pesticides are used around the world every year. Herbicides constitute the biggest part of the world pesticide use at 40%, followed by insecticides at 17% and fungicides at 10%. Pesticide use in the U.S. accounts for approximately 22% of all pesticides used worldwide. More than 194 million pounds of pesticide active ingredients and adjuvants were reported as used in California in 2013 alone. 90% of reported uses were in agricultural production. By amount applied, pesticides that had both insecticidal and fungicidal activity were the most used pesticide type in California. These are mostly sulfur-based products. This figure does not include residential home use products as those uses are not reported. Pesticides are substances designed to prevent, destroy, repel, pest, and reduce the damages they cause. Pesticides are typically thought of as chemicals used to protect plants from different pests. However, it's important to note that under the federal law, a pesticide is also any substance or mixture of substances intended for use as a plant regulator, defoliant, desiccant, or attractant. Adjuvants, and in some situations, pheromones, are also classified as pesticides. By their nature, pesticides are toxic. Of course, we expect them to be toxic. Otherwise, they wouldn't be effective at killing the pests that they are designed to target. Because they are toxic, using pesticides creates some risk. They can also harm humans, non-target animals, and the environment. The risk depends on the pesticide toxicity, meaning how poisonous it is to people or the environment. The risk also depends on the exposure, meaning the amount that gets in your body or the amount that is released into the environment. Harm to the exposed organisms can be acute, resulting from short-term exposure, or chronic, resulting from long-term or repeated exposure. Specifically, pesticides can affect the nervous system, some can affect the hormone or endocrine system, and others may cause cancers. Proper use and handling of pesticides in accordance with label directions and regulations will minimize the associated risks to non-target organisms and the environment. Pesticides are among the most regulated chemicals in the country. In the United States, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, regulates the use of pesticides. All pesticides must be registered with the EPA and the agency requires a battery of scientific tests in order to determine the potential risks to humans and the environment. When pesticides are used incorrectly, there is an increased risk of creating illegal residues on crops. Although most of California produce is free of illegal residues, there have been cases where a pesticide not registered for a specific crop was used. Detection of these illegal residues resulted in crop destruction and economic loss. Cilantro, 
spinach, and strawberries are just a few crops where this has happened. This course is set up to help you analyze pesticide labels and extract information relevant to your specific situation so that you can apply pesticides safely and prevent illegal residues. We hope you'll find this course informative and helpful when making everyday decisions for applying pesticides.